What is up everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date for all of my most recent content and live streams. Also guys, a friendly reminder, I do have channel membership now on the channel. I definitely highly recommend checking that out if you wanna support the channel in a small way. Of course, it's not required, but I very much appreciate it. There is a join button on my main channel page as well as a link in the description to become a hotline hero. I'd very much appreciate that. Before we get started, guys, I definitely wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Jeremy Casa from Plastic Hero Collectibles. If you guys read the thumbnail, I wasn't lying to you guys when I said this is my biggest Hot Toys Grail ever. This is what I wanted the most. This was the top of my list. And I really was just waiting and waiting to find it for the right price in the right condition because it's pretty hard to come by. It's a pretty rare one. Um, long story short, I bought one on eBay. It didn't come in the condition that was described. I sold that one. I reached out to Jeremy and Jeremy's like, don't you worry, dude, I got you. And he found me one sealed in box for a very fair price. So big, big shout out to Jeremy. I don't think he realizes how much this means to me. Tron Legacy is one of my favorite Disney films. I love everything about it. I love the Daft Punk soundtrack. I just love the aesthetic. It has Jeff Bridges in it. So what's there not to like? Absolutely incredible. I cannot believe I get to unbox this brand new in box. I believe this came out in 2012. So you don't get to do this every day when it comes to hot toys collecting. So this is very, very special. So again, Jeremy, thank you so much. Guys, there will be a link in the description down below to check out the Plastic Hero Collectibles Facebook group. If you want to get any secondary market or new pre-orders or anything like that through Jeremy, he's your guy. He's very trustworthy and a really great guy to talk to, and he'll talk to you throughout the entire process. So definitely highly recommend it, guys. But without further ado, I cannot believe I have this, guys. Like I said, this is just so special to me. Um, not long ago, my girlfriend and I actually went to Disney World and I was able to ride the Tron ride. And really my want for this figure just shot up through the roof because you actually get to ride a light cycle in that ride. I may or may not, if I want to embarrass myself, pop a photo right here of me screaming while on the ride. We'll see if I actually uh, end up putting that in this video, but I think it'll be funny, so maybe I will. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, this is very, very exciting. I do have a bonus item Tron related that I will show you a bit later in the video, just very quickly. Something that, you know, I kind of had to buy alongside this one. And uh, some of you if, you, if you're fans of Tron, you may know what I'm talking about, but we'll see. I apologize, I had to make a random cut here, but someone came to the door. Uh, nonetheless, guys, I'm not gonna pick the box up. It's really not gonna stay in frame. All you have is that kind of light band coming from the light cycle wrapping around the back of the box. There's really not much else to it. Of course, on the front, you have your Tron Legacy branding right there. And of course, guys, this is not just the light cycle, but we have the main character, Sam Flynn, with the light cycle. It's a whole vehicle set, which is really, really exciting. Um, also, guys, really quickly, let me grab something off camera that may be helpful to some of you who are watching this video because you either just picked this up or you're considering picking it up. Give me one second. So really quickly, I think this will be helpful to some of you guys. These are what I purchased on Amazon to replace the button cell batteries that are supposed to be included in this set. Obviously mine are probably long corroded, so we'll figure that out as we're filming this video. But as you can see, I have the LR44s, and I believe this is the size that goes into Sam's back to light up his whole body. And then this size right here, the LR936 is what goes in the light up helmeted Sam head sculpt. So this might be helpful to some of you guys. As long as these work out in the video, I will put a link in the description but let me not tease you guys any longer let's take the plastic clamshells out of the packaging and we'll see how it arrives to you if it lands on your doorstep all right now this is very different than anything we've seen before this is a kind of cardboard surrounding piece where the foam inserts which house the light cycle are in of course we're going to take it out very shortly in the video now this is something i don't normally do but i kept all the plastic on so you guys can see oh there's me in the reflection um so you guys can see all of the plastic is on here this is brand new sealed in the box of course i did inspect it to make sure everything was good inside of there but i didn't take everything out i just kind of opened the lid and looked in there so very very exciting we're going to do something a little bit different with this review because this is such an old figure and it is sealed so i cannot wait to do that but guys without further ado let's take some Sam Flynn, the accessories, and the light cycle out of the packaging and take a closer look at all of the details. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little unplasticking, if you will. I just thought it'd be fun to do since this is a new set. 
Uh, really quickly, I have one of the arms. They're gonna be the same on both sides, guys, so I'm not gonna show you both. But just to show you guys the finish and the details, just absolutely beautiful for such an old set. Even the flesh tone, it might be a little soft, but it definitely aged well in my opinion. I think this looks very good, especially on this underside. You can see that kind of like faux mesh there it's sculpted into the plastic. It looks really, really nice. And of course, these are not pre-installed on the figure. You do have to peg it in yourself, but as you can see, there's the peg hole to peg it onto the figure. So really nicely done. Let's move on to the next accessory. Next, we have our swap out leg. Yes, I say swap out leg because he does have two legs, of course, pre-installed on the figure. However, they do include an extra one to kind of have him kind of sticking his legs out like he's leaning the bike. Definitely a really cool add-on. I love that they added that because this is a statue, basically, at the end of the day. It's very limited or a power pose figure, if you will. So it's nice that they added something like this to kind of change up your look from someone else's if you want to be a bit different. As you can see, I do have kind of a rub mark there on the front of my leg. Guys, it happens a lot with these, especially when they're sealed because they got that plastic on them all this time. It's kind of unavoidable. It doesn't bother me personally. Let's flip it around here so you can see that same great mesh looking material there. Of course, that's sculpted in plastic though. But I do love that you see that plug there. Very interesting technology because this figure does have lights coursing throughout. And that's why you have to have that jack there to plug into the body. So really interesting, really Really neat technology from Hot Toys all those years ago. And looking at the bottom of the foot, because we love to look at that tread, you can see some pretty nicely done detail there on a figure so old. So definitely really cool, but let's move on to the next accessory. Next, uh, probably the most exciting accessory for me, you have your light disc. And obviously on the right, you have an unactivated light disc, and then you have an activated light disc here. It would have been cool if at the time they were able to make this light up. I feel like if they did this now, maybe they would make it USB powered, who knows? Uh, but definitely really cool nonetheless and these do click onto his back because if you guys are familiar with Tron, you know that they're able to store the light disc on their back. So definitely really cool. They are the same on both sides though, so nothing different on each side, but definitely the best accessory in my opinion. Being that I am the 1-6 hand advocate, you guys will be surprised to know that I'm not disappointed about the number of hands included with this figure. At the end of the day, this is kind of a power pose figure that's gripping onto the handles of the bike. However, it does include an extra hand here so you can put that light disc in the hand. It has that same kind of faux mesh texture there sculpted into the plastic. Again, for 2012, I don't think these paint apps are bad at all. Are they soft? Yes. But honestly, because the suit is mostly black, I won't really notice that at all. So definitely nice that they included a hand to hold that light disc. Next, we have our swap out helmeted sculpt for Sam. As you can see, there's a clear lens on the front. And you can see Sam Flynn inside there. Really, really dope. I really like this. As you can see, it has this very like mirrored finish on it. Really nicely done. The one that I had previously that I told you guys I sold had scuffs all over the helmet. This one is nearly perfect. I really couldn't be more happy. I know there's a lot of glare, so I apologize. It's just a really reflective surface. But you can see even the paint apps for such an old figure, really nicely done. You kind of have a little bit of sweat on that upper lip. Some nice glossed eyes. Again, sorry for the reflection, but I'm trying my best to show it to you guys. Maybe when we light it up, it'll look a little bit better. Matter of fact, let me try to throw the batteries in this really quickly and we'll see if we could see the face a little bit better in there. Give me one second. All right, I'm back and I've put the batteries in. If you're curious, there's the battery door right there and then you have your switch right there. Um, I did turn the lights down just a little bit so we can see the light up effect a little bit better. As you can see, you have that logo there lighting up on top. And if you look inside the helmet, you can see the lighting does kind of make it inside the helmet as well. Doesn't really change how much you could see the face, unfortunately. But again, I just wanted to show you the lighting effect close up. Um, I'm happy to report the batteries I bought did work. So, so far, so good. I will put a link in the description, as I said. Without further ado, guys, let's grab Sam Flynn. Let's give him some of his limbs that he's missing. And we'll see what we think of the figure before we take a look at the light cycle itself. Okay, guys. This this is really exciting. We're finally taking a look at Sam Flynn himself. Now, as you can see, he is in this fixed bike riding pose. I mentioned earlier, this is basically just a power pose figure. And as you can see, that is true through and through. He's in this like crouched bike riding pose. Now, of course, that makes sense. That's the whole intention of this set. 
I want to get closer up though. I love the difference between like that matte texture on the finish of his suit and that sculpted in mesh-like material there on the side. You can see it's really nicely sculpted. Again, for how old this set is, it's really nice looking. We will take a closer look at that head sculpt, of course. Sorry to bother you with this view, guys, but I have to look all around the figure. You can see these legs do move a little bit because they are just pegged into the body, so be careful there. You can see on the underside, you have that mesh type sculpted in material there. It looks really nice. Definitely really happy with how this looks, guys. Of course, it's going to be the same on both sides. I want to show you guys where the power switch is and where you insert the batteries. You take this cap off. It's not a screw in. It has like these two pegs that correspond on each side. One is bigger and one is larger. Once you put the three batteries in, I'm happy to say they fit, but I haven't tested them yet. Um, you do flip on that power switch there, and that's what turns all of the power on to Sam. As you can see, of course, guys, I did peg those arms that come separately in the box onto the figure. It wasn't too difficult to do. You just kind of push really hard. I did notice at the shoulder joint on the figure is where the LED is. So, of course, there's going to be some dispersion of the light towards the end because it is pushing it all the way throughout the arm. So, I imagine it's going to be the same case in the legs, but that doesn't really bother me again, guys. This set is from 2012, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, I do want to get really close on the head sculpt, though. I think this looks really, really nice. As you can see, some nice glossed over blue eyes there. The paint apps, though a little soft, really aren't that soft for how old this is. I think it definitely looks nice. I won't be using this. I will be putting on the helmeted sculpt because I want that complete light cycle fight look. So that's what I'm going for. I do want to show you guys as well the sculpted hair that he has. As you can see, again, a little soft. This is an old figure. It's from 2012. However, I definitely think it serves its purpose. I think it looks pretty decent for how old this is. I'm very, very satisfied. Now, something I want to do really quickly before we move on. I know you guys have been wondering, what do the lights look like on the suit? Well, there we are. You can see the lights kicked on, guys. Obviously, I will turn the light down a little bit. Probably once I put the helmet on, I'll show it to you guys. You can see on the underside of the suit, we have lights. Um, it does get a little bit lighter towards the knee, I noticed. Obviously, that's kind of the way that the lights are protruding through the suit. That's okay with me. You won't be able to see that. It's on the inner side, so that's probably why they didn't care about that. But overall, just such a cool effect. I'm happy to say that the batteries I bought did work just like they did for the helmet. So again, the link will be in the description for each one of these batteries so you guys can buy them if you do purchase this set. And you guys know that the ones you buy will work because I have them working right here. But what I'm going to do now, guys, really quickly, let me change some things out here. I'm going to swap out the head sculpt for the helmeted sculpt. I'm going to put that other leg on and we'll turn the lights down a little bit so we can get a better look at the lighting on the figure as a whole. Really quickly, guys, I do want to insert this in the video before I show you the helmet on the figure. Sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to show you what the sculpt looks like closer up pulled off of the body. As you can see, it's very nicely done. You can see some black there transferred into the sculpt. That's, of course, because of that black neck on the figure. Sitting on that all those years, of course, it doesn't surprise me at all. But you can see just absolutely beautiful work done by Hot Toys. As you can see, even though it's such an old head sculpt, the paint does hold up decently well. Again, I won't be using this. I'll be using the helmeted sculpt, but I just wanted to give you guys a better look at this because that's kind of the whole reason you guys are watching this video now, you know, just an updated look at the figure with a better camera quality. And I hope I'm able to give that to you guys in this video because I think it looks very nice here under this lighting. So just wanted to throw that in. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Whew, I finally got the part swapped out, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Putting this helmet on the figure is an absolute pain in the ass. So if you're getting this, try to apply some heat or something. I couldn't find the blow dryer, so I just used some good old-fashioned muscle. Um, it probably took me like 15 minutes almost to get it on. So if you're struggling, you're not on your own. It does take a while. You can see I have that swap out leg pegged in. I have the helmet on there now. That's just such a better look. The helmet looks so good. Um, let me turn the lights back on on this so you can see there's the lights kicking on. You can see the lights work in the leg there. Just like the other leg, you can see the light kind of dissipates toward the middle. I did read the manual and it does mention that. It shows you the points in which are going to have the most strong LED lighting. And the points are right here and right here. So you can see that's why it's not lighting up as much in the knee. But again, it doesn't bother me because that's the part that's most hidden when he's on the bike. Um, really quickly, there 
is some articulation. You can actually rock the hips just a little bit. Don't push it too far. That's about all you can get, so keep that in mind. You can actually move the hands a little bit as well. They just rotate so you can get them properly seated on the handles of the bike. Same for both sides, of course. And the head, you can move this. It's just very stiff, so keep that in mind. Don't try to move it too much, but you can move it and just kind of slightly tilt that head if you want to kind of portray a different look there. So, But guys, it's about that time, though. Let's now grab the light cycle. We'll throw some batteries in it. Check out that motor function. Check out the lights. We'll throw Sam on there, and we'll see if really this was worth all the wait all these years for me to get it. So I will be right back. Now guys, here we are with the light cycle itself and just seeing it in person is just something special. Um, having this actually in my hands right now is just so special to me because I've been waiting so, so long to get it. And just having a one six scale light cycle is just amazing. So as you can see, it has this really nice, like high polish finish. I will note guys, I did open this new in box. If you look very closely with a flashlight all around, you'll see some micro scratches on the, the clear coat finish. Don't worry about that guys. It's just the nature of how it was finished. It's a really old piece, even with mine sitting in the box all this time from rubbing around and shipping and stuff, you'll see some really micro stuff. But you could see at first glance when it's sitting in your display, it's just such an absolutely beautiful finish. If you get close up, you can see that motor in there. That is actually the motor that spins when you flip on the switch. I'll show you guys very shortly what that looks like on the bottom. As you can see, the wheel wells there, just really beautifully done. All that detail, all those little links on the inside, just really a beautiful, special piece for me. As you can see, this is the top piece that opens up to fit Sam in. This will be where his back is faced. This is just an absolutely gorgeous piece. I do apologize for all of the reflections. It's just the nature of this piece, uh, but you guys get the point. Just absolutely beautiful. Again, those wheel wells, all the different details and everything in there. Um, if we flip it to the underside, here is our battery door as you can see it says 2012 hot toys limited there's our switch i believe if you flip it to the right that is the motor and the lights the middle is completely off and the left is just the lights. And I love that Hot Toys had that foresight to do that because guys, honestly, the motor is very loud. It's annoying. And also, if you guys know this piece, it's very difficult to get one with a working motor because over the years, a lot of collectors kept it on in their display and the motor's constantly turning and it gets burnt out. So for me, not only because it's annoying, but I don't want to burn out my motor because it's so rare to find one with a working motor nowadays, I'm definitely going to keep it off in my display. But I wanna show you one more thing before we take a look at the lights. As you can see, it does have moving wheels here on the bottom. I think that's super neat. Will we ever move those on our display? Absolutely not, but it's cool that they have that featured on this bike here. Now, another thing I wanna point out, this does have a air brake system built in. I definitely recommend reading the instructions. I know I will, because you have to deploy these air brakes in order to get Sam onto the bike and have it sitting upright. So we will take a look at that in this video. I'll probably put together a quick montage of me enabling the air brake so you guys can get an idea of how it's done. However, without further ado, guys, let me not make you wait any longer. Let's flip on this switch with the motor and the light and see what that looks like. Now you could probably hear it, but I know you could see it. And as you can see, this is just absolutely beautiful. What an amazing, incredible feat of engineering when it comes to toys from Hot Toys all these years ago. Just such a beautiful effect there. Again, it is very loud, so I'm not gonna run it very often on mine. So we're actually gonna switch that off now and put just the lights on. But you can see those lights are absolutely beautiful. If you guys have seen Tron Legacy, you guys know that all the different props and vehicles and everything are just so unique to this universe. And this is just absolutely a testament to that beautiful design work done by the team over at Disney. Just absolutely fantastic. Um, really quickly, let me turn down the lighting though so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like with the lights turned down a little bit. Now here we are guys with the lights turned down a little bit so you really can get that true like Tron feel of this light cycle here. Again, absolutely gorgeous. I love the shiny finish on it. I love the lighting. I just love everything about it. I love all the design work that went into this. Now something I wanted to show you that I did not show you earlier just because it's in better lighting you do have a lit up cluster there on the front with the speed and everything, just really the attention to detail on some of these older Hot Toys sets really surprises me every time I get them. So just absolutely gorgeous. But really quickly though, before I show you the surprise that I promised at the beginning, let me give you guys a quick B-roll footage of me deploying the air brakes and putting Sam on the bike so you really can get an idea of how that works.
Guys, I really enjoyed filming this video. It really was an absolute pleasure. Once again, I, I really cannot believe that I have this in hand finally. I've wanted it for so long. And I just want to give again a big shout out to Jeremy Casa from Plastic Hero Collectibles. For a set from 2012, this really has so much class, so much elegance. There's so many different details, the lights, the motor, the swap out parts for Sam. It really is that good. I'm really just so excited to showcase this to you guys. And again, I just can't stress enough how excited I am to finally have this in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this review for Sam Flynn with the Tron Light Cycle. As I said earlier, and I did promise I had a bonus review, so stay tuned after this final little B-roll footage here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoy the bonus review, and I'll see you next time. Now, I did say I would have a bonus item, didn't I? As you can see in front of me, guys, I have the Kevin Flynn, also from Tron Legacy, completing the line for the Tron Legacy line in this video. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on Sam. If you're still here watching, obviously you guys like to watch a majority of my video. I know this one's a very long one, but I very much appreciate you sticking around. And for those that did, you get to see me unbox very quickly, not a normal unboxing, a brand new sealed Kevin Flynn from Tron Legacy. So give me one second, let me pull the figure and everything out of the box. And we'll take a quick look at it and see what we think of this figure all these years later. And here we have Kevin, guys, in his plastic prison. And just to show you guys, I'm not full of it. This is brand new. You can see he's still got the plastic on the feet. And once you take that off, there's really no way to get it on easily to look factory. This is 100% brand new. Everything is sealed inside the box. Let me pull everything out. We'll take a look at all the extra hands, the accessories, and also that awesome swap out all black outfit and boots, which is how I will display mine. So give me one second. So he doesn't come with much, but you can see we've got our hands. We've got the bracelets that correspond with each outfit. We've got this incredibly cool display base here. It's very shiny, very reflective, as you can see. Oh, hey, there's me. Hey, everybody. Um, I believe this does light up. I think the switch is on the back. Oh, that's where the batteries go. And there's still a tab in there all these years later. 2011. I'm sure these batteries are nice and corroded, but just for fun, let's, let's pull it out and see what happens. Uh, where's the switch? Oh, the switch is right there. Uh, let's see. No way. There's no way that these batteries work. Dude, that's actually <laughs> uh, that's actually crazy. There's no way. There's no way there's no corrosion in there. I mean, this is from 2011. I've never seen that happen in any older figures that I purchased that were new. That's actually nuts. As you can see, it's lighting up there. It says Tron Legacy Kevin Flynn. For a basic, like, hexagonal style... I'm sorry, I'm just blown away that those batteries still work. Um, for a basic hexagonal style display base, this is really cool. So, definitely really neat. And here's the swap out black outfit. This is actually really nicely done. It's very thick. There's all these different layers, as you can see. You have that really like Tron-esque styling there on the sleeve, just really cool. I'm definitely gonna run this. You can see he's got the light disc there on the back with that pattern there around it, just really neat. Um, this also corresponds, let me set this down. It corresponds with a pair of boots here. And as you can see, these are the boots that are meant to go with this outfit. Of course, I will throw these on in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff separately. Um, there's one more thing in the box before we look at the figure that's really cool that just happened to be in the box from the seller. So give me one sec. Now how cool is this? Obviously this is very old here. You can see it's talking about the Pirates of the Caribbean series from 2007 to 2011. Um, very fitting right now because we just had the new announcement of the new Jack Sparrow but really cool. The Hot Toys Adventure. Let me get a little bit closer. You guys can pause this and read it if you want. I'll go through all the pages. Just really neat. I see JC Hong's name there and a little picture of JC Hong. How cool is this though, guys? Showing the DX06 there. Behold the Pirate Lord's Arrival, summer 2011, pre-order now. How cool is that? Just a really cool piece of Hot Toys history. I don't know what's on the back. Let's see what's on the back, might as well. There's all the different Hot Toys uh, figures they've done in the past, a timeline there, just really cool. And this is all leading up to the DX06, which obviously is now very old. So just really cool. I hope you guys enjoy stuff like this. I'm probably being a dork with this, but this is just so cool to me. So I wanted to show you that, but let me grab the figure really quickly. And here we are with Kevin Flynn in his all white kind of default outfit. This is the outfit he was wearing while he was in his sanctuary where he sees Sam for the first time after all these years when he finds out Sam is on Tron. 
Definitely a really cool look. Not how I'm going to display mine. You can see it's so white. It's definitely picking up pretty heavily on camera. It's very, very bright. Make sure your hands aren't dirty because you will get some transfer on the outfit. So definitely keep that in mind. Getting a little bit closer, I want to take a look at that head sculpt. A really nice likeness to Jeff Bridges, in my opinion. I think that looks pretty good. Of course, the paint's going to be a bit soft because it's from 2011. However, uh, with everything considered, I think this looks really good and I think it holds up pretty well. If you got it repainted, it'll probably look even better. But in my opinion, this is really nicely done. I'll flip it around to the back so you can see the hair sculpt as well. Again, for the age, I think this looks really good. You can see he does have that white light disc on his back. Again, it's so white, it's not really picking up on camera, but you can kind of see there's a print on this one as well, like the black outfit that I showed you. Just really cool. He has open, relaxed hands, as you can see, pre-installed on the figure. Again, the paint job isn't perfect, but it's so many years ago that this figure was made. I'm not complaining. And then finally, have those creepy little weird uh, bare feet there. I'll flip it to the underside so you can see. Again, this is not my preferred outfit. Um, but let me grab the all black outfit. I will swap that out onto this one and then we'll be done with this little bonus review of ours. So give me one second. And here he is in the all black outfit. It definitely takes a minute. Be careful. There's all these different snaps throughout each layer of the clothing. Don't push too hard if you feel like it's not going to go in. Back it out. Reset. Get the buttons as close together as possible when you're doing it. So be very careful. But I think this is just a way better look. It's more like menacing looking, even though he's not a menacing character. It just has that look to it and that feel to it. Like this guy means business. The other guy is sleeping. He looks like he's in his pajamas. This is really cool. You can see I have his boots on there. They have the hits of white there on the side. Just overall really cool. A much better look in my opinion. I love the layers. I love that kind of sheen that the material has. You can see he's got a black light ring on his back there. Just really cool cool overall. Just a really, really nice classic figure and a great pairing for the Sam on that light cycle. So guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus review. I won't do something like this often, but I figured it was warranted here because I know not many people are going to watch just a video of this guy. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you next time.